Hey, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a link, uh, assignment submission link like this. Oh, oops, okay. And, uh, okay. What this link does when the student clicks on this link is, uh, let me actually go back, i uh, go to the uh, uh, student mode so that, uh, you know, okay, this is what students will see when they, uh, when they come to this page. They will see this link, okay. I type some instructions here too. When the student uh, click on this link, when they click on this link, this is a page they see. Okay, it has name, name of the link. It can be a name and assignment. I like to kind of you know type sentence like submit your final paper here or something like that. But it, what you put there is up to you. Instructions you can have instructions here. Students will see instructions. You can set a due date, and the students will see the due date as well. And uh, points, if you set the points, you know, um, you can, uh, yeah, they will see the points here uh, as well. And also, uh, can, under here, okay, the second area is submission area. And you could tell students to type in. You know the essay or, or paper right in here using these tools or you could uh, tell you could have students attach a Microsoft Word you know but look, look, look at the instruction I, I gave the instruction to type and save the paper in MS Word and attach the file so you know in that case students will be you know typing in Microsoft Word and saving it as a Word file and attaching the file in here using the attached file browse for local file using this okay in comments you know students uh, you know they can uh, if they want to add a comment when they submit the paper they can put a comment here like oh I wasn't so sure about you know the format blah 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 I use uh, MLM I use APA style I use ASA style you know or something like that, you know, students can uh, attach a comment, I mean, write a comment, you know, add a comment to, to your assignment here, and which, you know, instructor, you as an instructor will see when they, uh, when you, when you, when you open their assignments, okay. So that's what they see. Okay, let's get out, cancel. So how do you create this link? How do you do that? Okay, let's go back to editing mode. It has to be on for you to be able to do it. So edit mode is on. Okay. So first go to evaluate and go to create assignment. Okay. And uh, what you're typing here is going to be the name of the link. You know, remember I, I, I like to use a sentence like submit. It doesn't matter what you do. You can even say like a midterm paper. Something like that. And you can do some instructions. You can you can actually give thorough instructions about you know t uh, topic you know all kinds of stuff but uh, okay you know, it doesn't really have to be thorough it can be you know how you want to use this space how you want to use the system it, it's up to you you can even attach file that has a thorough instructions on it you know how to do this assignment if the instruction is simple I don't think you would want to attach a file for the instruction, you know, just for, for a couple of paragraphs. You don't probably want to create an, a separate file and attach it. If the instruction is going to be so simple like that, you know, just write, type them here. Or, uh, you know, you can have a, a very detailed, thorough instruction and attach it here through this link and you know, browse for a local file. And you can uh, give some generic uh, technical instructions here, like a type. And save your paper in MS Word and attach it here or something like that. You can. That's uh, that's one way to do. It. Well, I don't have any uh, assignment instruction file on my computer, so I won't do it. But you know, it's just a matter of browsing and attaching it. Okay. And grading. Okay, points. You can assign points. Let's say 50 points then it'll be worth 50 points and which will reflect on the grade center gradebook 
so you don't have to set it up manually okay and availability some people like to use a display until option to you know what, what happened is when you do it let's see you, you set it to the end of uh, okay like like tomorrow at five o'clock for example if you do it well actually let's make it Friday this Friday at 5 p oh, 5 p.m. Okay, if you do that, you know the link will disappear after 5 5 p.m. this Friday. Okay, that's one way to you know kind of control the the due dates. Another way to control it. Okay, let's uncheck this for now. Which is my preference actually. I prefer this method. Uh, set a due date instead of you know making the availability visibility of the assignment submission link I kinda tend to prefer uh, this approach of setting uh, you know making making the link available whole time but instead of setting the due date let's see a uh, due date is uh, this Friday 5 o'clock for example okay. okay when you do that you know the link will will not disappear the link will be there after this due date but whoever submits a link, I mean assignments, after this due date and time, will have a date stamp saying that that, that this submission was past due dates or something. Like, you no, know? so that that way you know who whose assignments were submitted after due date and time, and who submitted it in time. So that's one way to do, it. and that's my preference. But it's up to you if you think it's easier to just you know use this link availability option instead of due dates you know go with that it's, it doesn't really matter I think either way works for you it's it, I think it's a it's a matter of your uh, preference and style like you know how how you know how organized you are and uh, how many students you have and that's also a factor okay so in that you probably don't really have to worry about this and submit now you have a new link submission link for for the assignment paper okay when the student clicks on this link and this is what they'll see see that's the name I uh, I gave and this is a really brief instruction I, I gave here for just for you know submitting and a due date and time and points and I wanted to attach a detailed uh, instruction uh, assignment paper instructions here but I didn't but if I did it would have shown up here as a link you know attached files uh, not there actually where was it supposed to show up I can't really remember but maybe out below here could have been shown up around maybe around here or here sorry I can't remember so okay and uh, when uh, when they when they submit the you know assignments they would just have to come to this page and either type the paper or essay in here or uh, attach uh, you know oh in this case because I gave the instruction to save in Microsoft Word and attach it here so what they will be doing in this case is you know browse the local file and attach it and submit that's what they will be doing and when when they do it you know you you can rec you receive those uh, assignment submissions through Grade Center which is going to be a, uh, a topic for another time. If you have any questions, please let me know.